What's up guys and welcome back to Sunlight Network, it's Jim here again. In today's video we're going to talk a little bit about the Nokia 5G Fast Mile pretty much. Now a few things that I really want to talk to you guys about because you probably don't know. Now to get this modem pretty much in Australia you've got to join um, an Optus network such as Optus, Spintel, there's a few different ones out there that do give you this modem right here and it's generally around 70 to 90 bucks per month depending on what um, plan you go on. The $70 plan is around capped at 100 meg and obviously the 90 $90 plan is going to be unlimited speeds so you can, can get whatever speeds you pretty much are available to get in the area. But what I really want to particularly talk about, we're not going to be talking about the providers, we're going to be talking about the modem because there's a few things about the modem or one thing in particular that you need to know about the modem um, when obviously getting this. Now one of them is, now I'm going to dive straight into this, Okay, so just say you get pretty much, you plug in a LAN connection, so you're getting the 5G into your modem, and you plug in a LAN connection, and you notice on your computer, or whatever you've plugged your LAN connection into, you gain around 200 megabits. However, when you connect to it via Wi-Fi, you go, I'm only picking up around 70 megabits. I've tried everything pretty much out there in the last six months, I've had this for about six months, there is no way to solve it. Pretty much the speed will jump up, so just say you get 500 megabits in through LAN, you'll only get about 115 megabits. So you don't get the maximum speed via Wi-Fi. So what I recommend you do, because this has actually so, solved so much, I did this three months ago, and I couldn't believe how, how good the results were. What you wanna do is you want to buy pretty much another modem to connect to this. Now you're gonna think this is insane, but to get the best speeds possible in your area, okay, you're gonna get the best speeds through this, through land. But to get it via Wi-Fi, what you need to do, you need to buy a gigabit modem. So buy a gigabit modem such as a Google Wi-Fi, a few Linksys modems out there, there's some ASUS um, modems out there. Um, if you're not too sure what to get, basically just buy a gaming router. They pretty much support up to a gigabit. Pretty much as soon as you do that and plug in that to this modem, you'll notice as soon as you connect to this new gigabit modem you've bought, it will have the max speed. So if you were getting 500 megabit on here via land, um, you'll get 500 gigabit via uh, Wi-Fi, but on that other modem you have bought. I have no idea why it does this. I've tried everything to fix the problem. I just couldn't do it. I fiddled in the, the router settings to work out why it was so much slower via Wi-Fi and it was so fast via land. I still don't know. If you guys know down below, would love to hear it. But that is one annoying thing that you really do need to know about this because if you are with Optus and you think you're not getting the speeds that you are uh, in your area, yeah, you are. But pretty much all you're going to do is to basically test, just run a LAN connection, as you'll see at the bottom here. So you right here. So pretty much just plug it into number one, don't plug it into that one um, at all. So either of these three you can plug it into. And if you buy an existing modem, a gigabit modem, just plug it into one of these three, except that one, um, and you'll be good. You'll be able to get your speeds, depending on what's available in your area. Now typically, let now we'll talk a little bit about speeds. Okay, so what do you expect to get on this modem? Now this is a gigabit modem, okay? So depending on your area, again, does differ. But if you're in an area like Sydney, Melbourne, you should be able to get one gigabit, um, obviously, per second. So hopefully a gigabit. And now let's talk about the speeds that I receive on the Nokia Fast Mile. So pretty much throughout the day, I get anywhere from around 150 to 115 throughout the day. So 115 to 150 throughout the day. Then at night, after 10 p.m., it can jump up. Now, it does differ per night, which is a little bizarre, but it can jump up to 350. Sometimes it's up to the 400 mark. Um, that's pretty much what I get at night time. So yeah, it does differ, and again, it does matter of your area as well. So if there's a lot of people on in your area and a lot of people connected to that one network, obviously you're gonna have slower speeds. If there's not many people connected to the 5G tower, you're gonna have um, better speeds, obviously. Now, another really great thing with this modem, which you will know about, you wouldn't turn it on, you probably won't know what it means. So I don't have it plugged in, obviously, because I have it in a certain area, but pretty much when you tilt it down, there'll be dots. You can vaguely see them. You, there'll be a dot here, a dot here, a dot here, a dot here. If you see a white dot just sitting there, that tells you where the 5G tower is if you are trying to use this for 5G. So it will sort of direct you on where to put the modem, which is very, very helpful, especially if you want to get the maximum out of your 5G. That is something this thing does. It does tell you exactly where the 5G is. 
Now, if you don't have 5G, not a problem. You can actually still use this for 4G. 4G works really great. You probably just won't get anything over 300 meg, okay? So keep that in mind. Um, yeah, 4G can't really get over 300 meg. So I do find, because if you have, you can see the Huawei just over there, that gets a max of 300 meg, okay? But that's the max it can ever, ever do. It can never go any higher than that because that's the capacity of that modem. But you should be able to receive, if you're on 4G, around 300 meg, maybe a bit higher, probably a bit lower, unsure on that. But that's pretty much everything you need to know about those main things, how to get the best at ease speeds, obviously, always buy a gigabit modem to plug in next to it. Um, that, that's always a big recommendation. And we're gonna do that speed test right now to show you the results. So pretty much, let's do a speed test over Wi-Fi using this Wi-Fi, and then we're gonna connect via LAN to show you the different results that you are gonna get from this. Now obviously, first of all, before we get started, we do need to plug this thing in. Now, boot up can take up to five minutes, so we'll just quickly plug it in, and then we'll do the speed test. All right, guys, so while that modem is turning back on, I just wanna to talk to you guys one other thing you need to know about, obviously, the fast mile, is every couple of months, if you leave it plugged in, you'll notice that one little bizarre thing that happens is it will have a timeout period, which is a little bizarre. So just say it's up and running, and about it normally happens every month, so it's very hit and miss when this happens you'll have like about 15 minutes of timeout time. If you want that to be fixed immediately, just unplug the modem and plug it back in. But that's only one negative thing. It only happens about every couple of months. It's not a, a recurring thing. I think it's a software update, but very unsure of why it does that. But I do notice that it does happen a few times. So pretty much if you have it, if it's timed out for a few minutes, I normally just leave it and wait for it to come back because I know it comes back in around 15 minutes. But if you do get annoyed with that, just unplug the modem and plug it back in. But yeah, that's another really annoying thing. But again, it's only 15 minutes, then the internet comes back, so you're pretty good. So basically, we're just waiting for the Wi-Fi to turn back on. And it should be turned on. Let's go take a look at our um, Wi-Fi. It's still not on yet. As I said, it takes around five minutes. That's another a little, uh, not really annoying, but one thing you need to be mindful with other modems, they turn, up and turn on about in a minute, less than a minute. With this one, it takes a little longer, so the fast mile can take up to five minutes. So it is a little, it takes a little while to really boot up and all that stuff. And you'll be just, if you look at it, just you just see the lights slowly turn on. It does take a little while, but other than that, it's really good. And if you are in Australia and you are watching, I would definitely recommend getting this. Um, honestly, you'll get really great speeds. Just make sure you get the $90 plan. That way you have unlimited speeds and unlimited data. You can get a $70 plan. You do get unlimited data, but you are capped at 100 meg at, at this present point. So if you don't want to be capped, you want really fast internet, definitely go to the $90 plan right there. And you get this, as I said before, through Optus, Spintel, just go on finder.com and pretty much you'll see where you can really get, um, get different ones from. Alrighty guys, so we should be pretty much, yep, we're online right now. So now let's tilt the camera the other way so you can actually see what speeds we're getting on, obviously, the phone. Alrighty guys, so the modem is all booted up and pretty much we have connected, obviously, to the fast mile. Let's do a speed test and then obviously, then we'll go over to the computer and see how much faster it is via LAN connection. So just see around 50 meg, 60 meg. Let's see what our end result is. And again, with Optus, the ping is, seems to always be around the 20 mark. Unsure why that is. So we've got 72 meg. And let's see what upload. Upload's never particularly the highest. Now right here, you can already see it's pretty good. MBN struggles to get these sort of speeds. So as you see, we're at 72 and we've got 23 upload. Look how good that is. But let's get that even better. Now let's show you what via LAN connection and show you the big improvements. And remember guys, to always to get the best speeds, make sure you are using a Wi-Fi 6 compatible device, okay? So that's one thing to always keep in mind of as well. And make sure if you do buy another compatible modem to get that really fast connection, make sure it's gigabit um, supported. Make sure it is Wi-Fi 6 because Wi-Fi 6 is the latest technology in Wi-Fi. So you certainly do want it to be that. So let's do a speed test now on the um, computer here. And we should start to automatically see a big difference. So let's see if we do. So the ping is suddenly worse, but look at that, 200 meg. You can just see the massive difference. So on the phone, we were just getting 72 megabits, but now we're at 160. And really at nighttime, after peak time, 
it really does get up there, as I said before, anywhere from 300 to 400 megabits. Especially in my area, if you're in a different area, you'll probably get even faster than me. But as you see, there's a massive improvement. So if you got this modem, buy a gigabit modem to connect to it and you will get the best speeds you can ever be possible. So let's do that one last time. See if we can get any higher than 160 and then we'll do a final one on the phone just to compare speeds. So you know it's at the same time. So yep, at the moment it's, again, it is nearly four o'clock. So a lot of people are coming home from school. So obviously the network is gonna be a little slower than normal. So a little slower that time, but if you do this around, 10 p.m. is obviously when you get the fastest speed. Seven o'clock isn't too bad, okay? So seven o'clock in my area isn't too bad, but again, we're still getting over the 100 marks, which is pretty good. But hopefully in the next six months, we can start jumping up to the 600 mark um, when the full 5G rolls out, because there's only a few towers in my area, 5G towers in my area, but when obviously there's a lot more, hopefully we get a better um, 5G speed. Okay, so now let's just quickly do another one. So as you see via land, we got 146. Let's see what we get. Again, we're connected via Wi-Fi to the same network. I'm not hitting it. I'm just missing it because I'm looking through the camera. There we go. So now we can compare the difference in speeds. And you can just see this, how much difference this is. Like, technically there should be a one in front of it all. So there should be a one there. So it should be 171, but no, we're only getting 71 megabits. So that's why if you have this modem, I just don't want to stress this enough, get a gigabit modem. It will solve everything. You'll be so happy with the results. Now, one interesting thing is the upload on the... LAN connection and the upload via the Wi-Fi actually matches. It's not too much faster via LAN, but when it comes to download, there is a massive difference as you can see. And that's pretty much what I really wanted to focus on, pretty much the main things you really need to know about the fast mile. So basically that one thing with the Wi-Fi, that is a big improvement that you need to know about. And the fact that it has the lights where the 5G um, um, towers are, very helpful stuff, really cool stuff right there. And yeah, there's so many cool things with the modem and that's pretty much what I really want to focus on. The main really important things that you need to know and obviously about how it reboots or times out for about 15 minutes every couple of months. It doesn't happen every month, but it's something that you need to know about because it doesn't mean you've got an outage to fix the problem. All you've got to do is flick off the modem and then flick it back off and you'll pretty much be good to go. Alrighty guys, thank you so much for watching and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Catch you next time.